Hello, I'm Kareem from 2.5.7.x, and this is our full robot explanation. Uh, we went to four comps with this robot and won three out of the four. The other one, we were finalists. It was a SIG signature event, so yeah. I'll start off with the drive train. So our drive train is pretty standard. We run 450 RPM on 3.25 inch wheels. Um, we have one traction on each side because um, you get pushed on a lot in this game. And also, it allows for us to only have one vertical odom. And we run a leaf spring odom, which is basically the pressure of this dalrin is being put on the floor so that this always has like pressure on the floor. And it's pretty simple and low friction, as you can see, it's like, yeah. So we also have odom lift, as you can see this piston right here. And uh, yeah, we also have these guiders. Um, right, or these sleds right here, which allow for a smooth barrier cross. So like in skills, we can clear the park zone pretty easily. Um, and we decided to have a stacked motor right here because um, if it was back right here, we want to put our tanks right here. So it would take up too much space. Okay, now moving on to our intake. So it's pretty standard rig one, um, rig one style intake. So uh, our first stage is flex wheels. Uh, this all runs at 600 RPM, but later we're probably gonna move to uh, uh, 12 tooth sprockets right here because they're like faster, like here and here. Um, and then also, um, there was some jamming because, uh, hold up. There was some jamming because um, right here, we have a motor that for a drive train that's like really close to the mesh as you can see. And we kind of catted it too close when we were catting because um, it causes for jamming our intake when we intake two, it locks at once. So we probably should have just put that motor in the back or just put mounted this forwards, which on our next robot, we're just gonna mount this forwards more. Um, and that would, and then because of that jamming, we had to add these uh, two zip ties, like one right here, one right here, which all, which uh, makes sure that like, basically makes our intake one block wide. Um, and yeah, so we also have this rubber gun right here to make it easier to pick up blocks and stuff and you also have two tensioners for our double check you also have two tensioners one right here one right here um pretty simple and then we, unlike most teams we use mesh right here um for like the bottom of our intake uh so the reason why is because after our like before our last comp with the robot we um our intake would be like this basically like found that our intake was pretty slow. So we added this mesh and it, because it has more grip, it's faster than just like rubber bands. And it's still backed by rubber bands, as you can see. So um, it's sort of like the Snacky Cakes mesh for their S-Spot, but it's just like, this is on the bottom. And then, so right here, this is, uh, our flaps are pretty far. This is like a pretty big gap from here, but we still had to cut, cut, our, uh, cut our flaps because like our intake goes up all the way for match loading. So yeah, and then pretty standard hood design. Uh, at first, we had our hood that it was like on these two holes, as you can see when we cut it with the CNC. But we decided to move it. Um, we decided to move it back a bit this way, uh, this way because it was uh, sticking into the goal. Like once the rule Q and A new can Q and A came out, you can't just camp at goals. So now we drilled new holes and. No, and like bent it, like we bent it as this was bent less and like it's sticking to the goal. And now it's like just at the point where it's not sticking into the goal and it's legal and you can just camp there for defense. Um, however, the reason that we camp there now is because our hooks are kind of bad. Cause like, as you can see, like we have two of them that are kind of small and they're geo, like the way they go out is pretty bad. So um, we're gonna, hold up, I'll show you the two. We have two and they're, they go at the same time but they're bad because like the way that they're mounted, they go out sideways. So instead of up and down, which means that like defense can just like push them off, just like scoring blocks and they just bend it down. So vertical hooks are much better where they just go up down instead of like diagonal because um, when there's pressure against them, they don't just like go up like that. And also we're in the future, we're gonna do like sort of like two and four, five hooks where there's just like one long one where we can just drive into the goal and it pushes it. Um, moving on to our match loader, it's pretty standard vitality design. Um, it's just like pivoting, hold up. It's just pretty standard pivoting design. Um, hard stopped on these standoffs. We could only triangle brace on one side um, because um, because of this right here. 
Um, as you can see, like, you kind of have to triangle base because if you've seen Nameless Robot Explanation, they said that they basically had to, like, ram into the goal to, like, unbend their thing during matches. So, yeah. Um, moving on to our double park. So, basically, what it is is it's these two pistons, this one uh, right here, and this one right here on our first stage. And what it basically does is it gets the block. We just, like, whenever we're into the park zone, here. I'll move it into the park zone. Okay, so when we're in the park zone, like this, we basically have a macro that uh, outtakes the block, just holding a button. It outtakes the block to where this distance sensor, as you can see, since it doesn't matter the color, it doesn't have to be an optical sensor. Um, right here. That distance sensor, it senses the block and it basically slows down the block until it stops seeing it. And then when it stops seeing it, it just pushes it down and then we're double parked. Oh, we're parked if our lance is in there. And we can also just, uh, we can also be in like this much and it would still do it. So yeah. Uh, double park is kind of like useless it, usually, but it's, we still run it cause like, so you can get higher scores in matches. Um, now moving on to our D score max. I already covered this one, so I'll just do this one. Um. So it's basically just middle goal D score. It's kind of overbuilt and like heavy, but yeah, it's fine. Um, so we have a piston right here. All of our pistons are, are single acting, so we save air. Um, it's just pretty standard. It goes into the into the center goal and just like it can D score like a whole goal at once, which we've done, which we've done at our most recent comp. So, and our center goal scoring is pretty standard. Just like um, this piston goes down to score on the center goal and we ha and we later added these standoffs uh, when we were tuning it because th th these standoffs make sure that it's like pulling it down over more area so that like it's not just like sort of a v-shape if you know what i mean and make sure that like more of it's being pulled down so there's more of a gap for the block to fly through and that improves our intaking by a lot and i think that's about it thanks